everyone, it's Carly, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. We are finally in the double digits, and I feel like I'm running out of ideas. But I also feel like I'm finally in the groove of filming and uploading for you guys, so it's kind of like a nice in-between, where I'm wanting to put out so many fun things for you, but I'm also struggling to keep it fresh and new and fun. So hopefully you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. If you are, definitely hit that subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know down below what day of Vlogmas has been your favorite. Today I popped into Sephora and Ulta and had to grab some things that I needed, some new, some things I've already had, and I thought I would sit down and show you guys. It's not a ton, um, but it is stuff that I really am interested about, and I really love watching these videos and adding to my ever <laughs> growing list of beauty products, skin products, fragrance, you name it. I have like a running list at all times. So I thought it would be fun to share these things with you guys and give you some ideas for maybe gift ideas or things for yourselves. Whatever it is, I think that you will find something that you enjoy in this video. So let's get into it. So we'll start into Ulta because I went into Ulta for a secret Santa gift. So I only grabbed one thing for me, which was very strong. I saw that ColourPop was having a huge sale on all of their matte liquid lipsticks, and I've talked about liquid lipsticks before, and I don't love them for every occasion, but I do really love them, and for three dollars and fifty cents you have to grab one so the one that I grabbed was this one right here it's actually what I'm wearing on my lips today and it is their ultra matte lip in the shade Times Square which obviously holds a deep love for my heart so it's just a nice easy mob they were actually out of like every single color um, besides this one which worked out well because this is the shade that I would normally go to anyway um, so I socked up on one of those and I'm so happy I love ColourPop's liquid lipsticks they're long wearing they feel really nice on your skin and yeah I just find that they're so affordable and easy to get a hold of now that they're in Ulta so I definitely sucked up I'm moving into Sephora Sephora was the place where I got a lot of new things that I'm so excited to try I really had like a proper browse around and really looked at ingredients and name brands that I haven't really tried before and just products that I've never seen or used before and so the first thing that I needed to pick up was a new cleanser and this is from pharmacy this is the clean be ultra gentle face cleanser and if you watched my winter skincare routine then you know I don't really fuss around too much with cleansers and I'm totally fine spending four to five dollars on a cleanser like the one that I had in that video but sometimes I think it's nice to like spoil yourself and get something new and exciting especially for your face so this is what it looks like and it's absolutely stunning I'm so excited to use this. These types of cleansers are some of my favorite to use and I love their use of like honey and hyaluronic acid specifically in this cleanser. So I'll let you guys know what I think, uh, but yeah, I'm so excited. It was just a beautiful package and it looked like a great company. So I really don't have anything to say besides I love the packaging and I'm excited to try it. Staying with skincare, I had to pick up a new vitamin C serum and I was going to repurchase the vitamin C serum that I was using in my winter skincare routine. But last second, I canceled the order just because I wanted to try something else. I thought like maybe I'll just look around. Even though I love that one, I thought it doesn't hurt to try something else. So I wanted to try the Ola Hendrickson Truth Serum and this is their vitamin C serum. And I'm so excited about this. You guys know how I feel about vitamin C. Um, so this is collagen boosted with True C Complex. And so I'm excited to see how my skin reacts to this. I don't really know. I've never used this before, so it's exciting to me. But also, I'm going to kind of take it easy, especially because it is a vitamin C. I'm just going to introduce it slower into my skin. But I cannot wait. I love this. I've heard great stuff about Ulla Hendrickson. So yeah, I was excited to get my hands on it. Lastly, for the face, I needed a new rose water toner. I love rose water toner. It's one of my favorite toners to use on my face specifically. So I really wanted to try the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. And especially in the winter, that deep hydration just sounds amazing to me. And it's a beautiful bottle. It looks so great. I'm the most excited to try this because I've heard so many great things about Fresh. I've only used like a little sample size of their Soy Fresh Cleanser or whatever it is their face one um, and it was so great but it was such a long time ago that I really don't remember how much I loved it or if I really did um, I just know that it didn't irritate my skin at all but yeah I've heard loads and loads of 
good things about Fresh, so I'm excited to dip into this tonight. I just wanna go into the bathroom and take off all my makeup. That's why I had to film this video like right now because when I get a new product, I cannot let it sit there. For days, I have to use it immediately, so. I'm excited to wash my face. From there, I thought I was done. I just needed some face stuff and that was it. But then I kind of walked through the hair care stuff and was just like kind of browsing, which is always really dangerous. But I really wanted to try something from Way. I've never had anything from them, but I do really love that brand. I love their Instagram. Like I just like, I just, when I got my hair cut, I really wanted to be Jen Atkins. So I figured now's the time to dive into her brand and try something from Way. So this is their Rose Hair and Body Oil. I like this because it was nice, like a hair and body. I'm a little bit particular with the oils that I use on my hair. So if I didn't like it, I could use it for my body, that sort of thing. And I don't know, I was just so intrigued by it. I don't know if you are able to see it, but I just, yeah, all of their products smell amazing. I had the chance to like smell this um, as a tester and it smells so good. And I am one person that loves to have hair care that smells really good, that makes me feel confident when I'm like walking past people. Um, yeah, I definitely couldn't leave the store without putting this into my basket, so. I don't regret it. I'll let you know how I feel about it because I'm so excited. Okay, so I sort of forgot that on my way home, I stepped into Target as well and picked up a couple things. So I thought I would just include it into this haul as well. Um, because when I was talking about the Way Hair Care, it reminded me of the shampoo and conditioner I just picked up. So this is the Kristen S. The Signature Shampoo and Conditioner. And I absolutely love this stuff. I go back to it again and again. I always try something and then don't like it and then come back. Like I was trying the Nexus brand, didn't like it so I had to pick this up. And if you want something that's gonna make your hair smell so good, it's this stuff. I think it's gonna pair so well with my new Way hair oil. Um, yeah, I just love Kristen S. It makes my hair feel so clean, but it also like, the scent of it just like stays on your hair throughout the days. And even when your hair is getting greasy, I feel like, it just, I notice such a difference when I use this stuff and it's so affordable. Um, so yeah, absolutely love it. Thought I would include it cause it is one of my favorites. And then this is silly, but it's a true staple in my life. And this is the, it's upside down. This is the Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil, which I had to get a new one because I do my brows every day. I feel like I'm constantly running out of eyebrow pencils. I don't know if like I do my eyebrows really like harsh. I feel like I don't, but it just like it vanishes so quickly. So I probably should have picked up two, but I just picked up one for now. And it's such a go-to staple of mine. And that's everything I picked up. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Like I said, it wasn't a huge big haul, but it was products that I was so excited about and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.